Good morning everyone! Today is another day of Vlogmas! But anyways, today I am meeting Mime up for kind of a uh, lunch, I guess, at the Gude Tama Cafe that she went to already previously because I always wanted to go to Gude Tama Cafe. I think out of all my like Japanese characters, Gude Tama is one of my absolute favorites. But anyways, let's go meet her now. I have... I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. All I've had is two cups of coffee. Okay, let's go. All right, you guys, so I made it. I had to run again, but thankfully I beat Mime here. So she's just coming up the escalators now, but I'm at the Guretama Cafe. Mime is here, she made it. I'm so glad I made it before you, though. I was like hustling. But you shouldn't have bought it. I like no. totally went out. I went out of random exit because I wasn't thinking, and then I had to walk to investigate it. Really? Oh, no way. Okay, then it's I'm okay. I'm lucky. scenic route. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank God. I've okay. got my hair. You ready? Yeah. No, this hair is not ready for life. Oh, no, mine's a big knot at the back. It's really? Okay, I would never have kissed. <laughs> it always is whenever I wear the turtlenecks. Whoa, good Etama everywhere. It's so cute. I'm really glad this is here. All right, so I've decided I'm going to get this rice dish because it's got the vegetables and deliciousness. And then I'm gonna get the chocolate latte that Mimi had last time. And then we're thinking we're gonna split the pancakes because look how cute they are and it looks so delicious. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh my God, I just realized they have hot coffee. What? So I could get a coffee in one of these like floats because they oh. look really interesting. Oh wow. Because I haven't tried that yet. The floats? That's <laughs> true. <laughs> They've just been all my money on drinks, why not? Yeah, just a normal hot coffee because I need coffee real bad. Real, real bad. Well, pancake arrived. Look how cute it is. It looks so good. So good. My white curry arrived. Well, it looks so good. Oh, it even has pumpkin on top. I love pumpkin. It smells pretty good. It smells really good. Oh my god. It looks so good. It smells so good. Oh, so cute. Whoa, good Etama everywhere. So excited. Whoa. This is great. This is so great. Let's take right from his face. No, good Etama. Whoa, sad. Let's not eat my hair today because that always happens. So you guys, Vlogmas, the bags under my eyes are horrendous. I'm so tired constantly. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, who am I? I don't know it. I don't know anymore who I am. I'm losing my salt to Vlogmas. So that's what happens. Oh, so <laughs> you instead I just put in the middle of the table. <laughs> Oh, there's chocolate inside. There's chocolate inside. Is it? What is that inside? Berry. I think. Oh, it's berry. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> I'm at the point where I just want to get this whipped cream out of here. I'm just gonna like <laughs> ditch it. <laughs> Great food review. <laughs> I know, right? I'm sorry, you, you guys. You. But I like that. It's honest. I'm sorry. I mean, I could make it look like it's really good, but the reality is it's too sweet. I think everyone on my channel has come to the conclusion that I do what I want, how I want. I do what I want. I do what I want when yeah. I want it. Get this whipped cream out of here. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a mess of the plate, it's just, honestly, you guys, it's so sweet. I just, where is the coffee? I'm not even finding it. It's still, oh my god, it's still this whipped cream. Oh, to be honest, I enjoyed the cream because I was having one of those days where I needed a treat. But I understand your feels. <laughs> Man, but we already had the pancake. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. 
coffee. PS coffee, right? It's actually <laughs> good, right? It's so good. It's way better than the one in Osaka, that coffee. Oh, really? Yep. This coffee actually is really good. It tastes <laughs> like a legit latte. I got a postcard with my order. So when I paid, they gave me this cute little postcard, which I'm probably not going to use, but that's cute. I'll probably end up writing my notes on it or something. Oh, so cute. Also, I'm like staring at this marble. I'm like, goody Thomas nice, but this marble is so nice right now. Mime got one too! Oh Hers is different than mine! Cute? That Isn't one's cute? really cute. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But mine's got bum. Got bum. <laughs> <laughs> but we are done at the Gude Tama Cafe. So I think Mime and I are going to walk around a bit and kind of just digest because we ate a lot of food. And we had a really good time, nice girl talk. And I really enjoyed it. I mean, it wasn't as big or like crazy decorated apparently as the Osaka one, but still it was a really cute and not busy or crowded. So if you're in Ikebukuro, definitely come to the Cebu department store and come up to the 8th floor. That is where it is. It's on the food level at the very, very top. So definitely check it out. Vlogmas. Christmas. Vlogmas. So Mime and I are just in loft right now in the coffee section having a moment about all the beautiful coffee accessories. But I'm actually looking in this section seriously for a reason. I don't have a coffee grinder. My coffee pot is, it has a built-in coffee grinder, but it broke. And one of my viewers, if you're watching this, you bought me the whole coffee beans, but my grinder broke, so now they don't grind. So I can't use your coffee, so I need to get a grinder. But I want a handheld one. I don't want to buy an automatic one, so I'm hoping that they have one here in Loft so I can buy it. And I'm also getting Tof and Laura a birthday present for the next few days. I can't show you guys because I don't want them to find out. So I'm not seeing a handheld grinder. You think they would have one? Oh, they have electronic ones, but not handheld. Hmm. Oh my gosh, you guys. What's Christmas. That? Vlogmas. Oh no, is it real? Oh no. Is, no. is it real or fake? No, it's, it's not real. Okay, thank God. I'm too blind to tell. Oh, it says no photos or videos. No, it says photo spot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please take Oh, I, I saw like the no and I was this like, is, oh God. This is, don't touch it. Okay. Vlogmas. Christmas. It's fake, don't worry. We may confirm it's fake. I'm pretty sure it's fake. I, I really hope it's fake. I'm not allowed to touch it. If so. they just have like a I real stealth no radio. Way that's real. That's that would be really expensive. Please, I hope it's fake. It's, it's beautiful. It's Dasher? Yeah. Oh, it's Dasher, you guys. Lovely. Dasher. Dasher. All right, you guys, so Mime is going to go home now, and so am I. Oh my gosh, she disappeared. Where'd she go? <laughs> there she is. She's hiding. But anyways. Christmas. Christmas. How about this background? It's pretty cute, right? But anyways, I am gonna go home and work my butt off because I did not achieve enough today. But we went shopping, got some gifts. Yay! Okay, I had a lot of fun today with Mime, so definitely check out her channel if for some reason you're not already subscribed. Definitely check her out. Let's go! All right, guys, so I am back home now, but I think I might do a Q&A later tonight just because I feel like this vlog is going to be really short and I know majority of you like when my vlogs are long so I'm doing a Q&A later on so definitely stay tuned for that and I'll check back in later once I get my questions in. Oh, so it's 10 30 at night oh there's hair in my eye the usual but anyways it's 10 30 at night right now and Kim Sunny and I just came to Saizaria because we are hungry I haven't had dinner yet today you guys everything I had was what you saw at the Gudetama cafe so for some food. Oh, I got the new, well this guy, I got my new favorite which is the bowl of peas with a egg and pork belly in it. I don't know why but I really like this. I got it last time. On point. On point. Yeah. And I got the cream sauce pasta with spinach and same thing with the pork belly. Yum, I'm so ready, I'm so ready. I need some of them red pepper flakes. Yeah, yeah. These don't even count as spicy to me, you guys. I need like hot sauce, I need sriracha sauce or gochujang. Oh, so so I know, sriracha is my life. Put that on everything, yeah. Uh -huh. 
for a month. <laughs> You're addicted to Saizeria. <laughs> yeah. I love Saizeria. It's like the cheapest Italian yeah. food, but somehow so good. Mm -hmm. I agree. I have like, I'll be at home and it's like late at night. I'm like, I could go for some Saizeria right now. So good. So good. Okay, so I am back home from Saizeria, which is the restaurant that we went to. I didn't mention it in one of my previous vlogs and you guys kept asking. But yeah, it's Saizeria. It's like a really cheap chain restaurant for like really cheap Italian food. Super cheap. Everything I got was like $7 roughly. Yeah, really good. But anyways, I... I'm sorry, I keep shaking the table. But anyways, I am going to do a quick Q&A for you guys just to give more depth to this vlog because I feel like it was really short. Anyway, let's go right into it. So I only asked on Twitter. So if you guys are watching this, make sure you follow me on Twitter because that's usually where I ask like really personal things or share my random thoughts of the days that can be quite personal now that I think about it. But yeah, anyways, let's go right into the questions. The first one is, what is your favorite lipstick brand? Definitely Jeffree Star, I think, is my favorite lipstick brand. Uh, Kylie's pretty good, but I feel like it's a little more expensive than the Jeffree Star one, so I feel like I, I always want to buy the Jeffree Star one, so I highly recommend. Next one, Maya asks, or Maya asks, How do you spend Christmas this year? This year my Christmas is going to be spent at home here in my apartment in Japan and my friend is going to be visiting once again if you guys remember that random guy that showed up really briefly in, in one of my, I think my first vlogmas video. He's coming back on the 22nd of December and staying throughout Christmas and leaving before New Year's Eve so you guys will probably see a bit more of him later on but he will be here. He's not my boyfriend by the way. He's just a friend of my boyfriend's and he's just going to be visiting for a bit because he's always wanted to come to Tokyo. V Vopeho asks, what's the weirdest or best thing that has happened to you while living in Japan? Um, weirdest thing. There's been quite a few weird things but I don't remember any. They usually, like, I'm pretty used to weird things after living in Korea for two years, so nothing really phases me anymore. But I think the best, the weirdest thing that's caught me off guard is that time that the cops stopped me in front of my house to, like, ask me questions. That was probably the weirdest because that's something I can remember that caught me off guard and surprised me. Best thing? I don't know. Everything has been pretty good. I'm pretty, I don't know. I guess the best thing was meeting everyone here, all my friends. I really value them because before moving to Japan, I feel I didn't really have uh, friends that I could 100% relate to. Like, I've had, I don't know, I've never been someone to have a group of friends. I've always just had, like, small numbers of people throughout my life. And even back at home, I can say I probably have only one or two friends that I kind of keep in touch with. I don't know, my life back in Canada is pretty lonely other than my boyfriend and my family, so I have no friends apparently, but in Japan there were so many, like the YouTube community I'm in, everyone is someone I can relate to on some sort of level, whether it be our hobbies or our personal opinions or our lifestyle. I don't know, I just, I'm really happy I've met everyone here. So that's definitely the best thing about Japan for me, is everyone I've met. Dasha asks, Who's your favorite Yuri on Ice character? Oh, this is a hard one. I don't remember everyone's names, but I'm going to surprise you all. None of the main characters are my friends. I don't know, like, what's his... What, oh, I can't, I can't even remember the main character's name anymore. Victor? I don't know. He just doesn't... Like, I like him, but he's not my favorite. He just doesn't really appeal to me too much. Like, I like his character, but if I had to choose a favorite, he wouldn't be it. And then Yuri, he's, I don't know, I don't like, back in the day when I was younger, I would have really loved his character because he's kind of like, he kind of plays that damsel in distress role, like very, like, concerned and, and low self-esteem. Like, that would have appealed to me way back when I was young, like, beginning of high school or throughout high school. But now that I'm older, I really appreciate very strong lead characters. But since most of the characters in this series are male, I really am into and curious about the second Yuri, but also 
my number one would have to be the character from Kazakhstan, who I can't remember his name, but I really like those dark and mysterious guy characters a lot. Like, I'm bad. I guess that kind of labels the type of guy I usually get into. But, um, yeah, I like dark and mysterious guys because I want to find out more about them. Dark and mysterious guys who are also confident and um, strong-willed. Not no, I don't like no weak sauce people. You gotta be strong-willed, but still dark and mysterious. Tell dark and handsome. Okay, enough about that. I'm just going on. Elena asks, do you play any video games? Uh, yes, if you didn't already know, I have a Twitch account, which I've been really inactive on during this month because it's Vlogmas, so my I'm overwhelmed with everything. But um, I do play video games, not fully, not too often, just because I have a very hectic schedule. So when I do have free time, usually it's for editing videos. But if I have like absolute free time, then video games is something I do like to try to remember to do or designate time to do. Um, but for now, I play Final Fantasy a lot and have been playing it a lot for the past two years or more. So yeah, definitely check that. Definitely check out my Twitch account down in the description box below if you're curious on what kind of games I play and how you can watch me play video games. Masayu, I think it is, asks, do you have any plans to travel across Southeast Asia? Maybe. I might after my time in Japan. My boyfriend wants to, but he, my long distance boyfriend who I haven't seen in like a year, but he really wants to do a Southeast Asia trip with me. However, his idea of a Southeast Asia trip is backpacking style and I'm not really about that life. You guys, I need, I need somewhere I can do my skincare routine. I'm very, I've become a high maintenance girl over the years. I'm not too high maintenance, but I have a routine. I like to go home to a clean, comfy bed. I like to be able to have a clean shower. So that backpacking, like hostel share room life isn't really my lifestyle, but my boyfriend's really into that. So if we do do a Southeast Asia tour, or visiting travel, it might be like that. And if it is, I'm not going to go on it unless he can compromise and we can go to like at least Airbnbs, then maybe. But right now it's not really in the budget, but it's possible in like the next year, maybe. Masayu, oh, she has a lot of questions. Don't you, Masayu? Her next question is, which country do you choose to settle down one day after you get married and have kids? or once you want to get married and have kids. Um, I don't know. I haven't really been to a country yet that has made me want to actually settle down in it. Um, so for now, it's definitely Canada. I'll most definitely be going back to Canada once I want to get married and have kids. Um, marriage isn't really a factor in my settling down life. It's when I want to have kids is when I will settle down. But I'll tell you now, that's not anywhere in the near future. I'm not ready to have kids. I'm already still too immature for that. Like, I'm still trying to figure out who I am in my life. There's no way I'm bringing a kid into this world. Masa, you also asks, what is your opinion about South Korea's education? Um, I'm not really, I feel I'm not really, I'm not really the right person to ask about that, seeing as I didn't teach in South Korea. It's not really my place. I don't have a teaching education, so my opinion on that is not educated enough to have a say. Um, so I'm not going to answer that question. Sheila Lud, sorry if I'm butchering that, but she asks, is there any difference how people in Korea and Japan celebrate Christmas? Yes, there's actually a huge difference. Christmas and those kind of Western festivities have not yet really caught on in Korea, I feel. Um, they're starting to implement it and companies are starting to do it and take advantage of it for the retail purpose it, purposes of it, but overall the culture of it has not really caught on yet. Um, no one really celebrates Christmas and if they do they treat it more as like a date night and even so there's not really a lot of decorations. They, don't, they just don't really celebrate it or do anything. In Japan, however, it's way more festive, and once again, it's still treated as more of a date night thing, but I feel more families actually do celebrate it for the Christian aspect of it. And when you go out in the streets, there's lights everywhere. Like, Christmas is everywhere. I even see houses with Christmas lights on them, which is something you don't really see as much in Korea. Way less from what I've seen. Um, so yeah, I feel Japan celebrates Christmas way more. Like, everywhere you go here, there's Christmas everywhere. It's in your face. There's Christmas music everywhere. It's really festive here. Uh, Korea's starting to get onto it, but it's not nearly as much as Japan. And Japan is still considered, like, a little bit less than North America, for example, or Canada, but, yeah. 
Shayla Lod also asked what skincare brand I can't live without. That's really hard actually um, because I use so many different brands but I would have to say probably Claire's just because it has to be one brand and I can use pretty much everything from the Claire's line without having to worry about my skin getting irritated or breaking out. Um, so that's why I would choose Claire's just because it's a really um, safe brand for me and I could definitely use it for the rest of forever. Um, functionality wise, actually no I'm not going to go into it. I'm just going to say Claire's and I'm not being biased to Claire's. It just really works for me you guys. It's just honestly a brand that has never given me problems and it really works for me. So yeah, anyways, that is it for the Q&A portion of this vlog. I'm going to end this vlog for here tonight. It is 11.30 now p.m. and I still have so much work to do. I still have to publish this vlog that I didn't get to finish editing because I finally had a phone call with my boyfriend after like three months. Like, kill, like I'm, I'm hurting, you guys. Like, long distance is hard. But yeah, I need to get to work. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, of course, only if you want to. And comment down below if you have anything to say about today's vlogmas video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!